You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning. A new study shows there is no link between childhood vaccines and autism. For years, many parents have avoided vaccines out of fear of this. So is this new study strong enough to cast away all doubt? In this week's Family 411, Dr. Timothy Dorn, a pediatrician with GBMC, is here to weigh in on this. Dr. Dorn, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Megan. Well, tell us about this study. Who did it? Where is it coming from? The study comes from the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, which is our largest public health organization in this country and they looked at about a 750 children 250 with autism about 500 children without autism and they looked at the number of vaccines they got the number of antigens they got in these vaccines and found really no difference between the two groups do you think that this study is in fact going to be strong enough to sway some of those parents who are so fearful of these vaccines they're convinced that that really is what caused the autism in their children no I don't but this this contributes to more than 20 studies now that are uh, very clear that this is settled science, that there really is no relationship with vaccines and the development of autism. Do you feel the, very confident about that? I do, and I think the interesting thing about this study is there's been a lot of fear that parents are getting, that their children are getting too many vaccines, being mm -hmm. exposed to too many antigens. In fact, when we looked at this study, the nice thing about this study, it shows that the the vaccines we have today have very few antigens in them. They have only about 350 for the whole range of vaccines. In the old days when we give, gave DPT, which mm -hmm. was given in the 60s and 70s, it had 3,000 antigens because uh -huh. it was a far less pure vaccines than we have today. We have very pure vaccines today and we're not exposing children to more antigens that they get in any given day. And the benefits can save their life if they get those vaccines. The rates of things like haemophilus influenza, polio, all of these illnesses that were scourges in the last century are 99 percent gone because mm -hmm. of vaccines. So will we convince everybody? No, it's hard to convince everybody, right. but I think the evidence just keeps gathering. Let me ask you this. If autism is not in fact from these childhood vaccines, what is the cause? Where do you think this is coming from? Well, the CDC also has done a lot of study on autism. We know now pretty clearly there's a genetic link. Mm -hmm. We know that there's genes involved. We also know from looking at videotapes of children with autism from when they were younger, that parents had taken of them, that there are antecedents and you could pick up at very young ages before vaccines really have an effect or right. before MMR. Huh. So we know there's a genetic component. We know that there are predispositions what exactly triggers all of that, we don't know. It's not vaccines. Right. Dr. Doran, we really appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. And if you guys want to learn more information on this particular study, please log on to our website, foxbaltimore.com. And if you have an idea for our next Family 411 segment, please send me an email.